and the six kilometers wooden double boat trip from the beaches of Stone Town to Prison Island takes around 25 minutes. The island became known as Prison Island after it was purchased by the British First Minister of Zanzibar in 1893, who constructed a prison here, but it was never used as such. Instead, in 1923, the prison was converted to a sanatorium and was used as a quarantine facility during the yellow fever epidemic. Travelers to Zanzibar would spend up to two weeks before being allowed on the main island to ensure that they were free from yellow fever. Now, parts of the facility have been converted into a bar, restaurant and some tourist shops. But today we are here for the giant Aldabra tortoise. These tortoises are not native to Zanzibar and actually come from the Seychelles. There is a small fenced shed that houses several younger tortoises of various ages to protect them from tourists. These tortoises wander freely within a fenced area next to the prison. Visitors can interact with these amazing creatures. Aldabra tortoises appear to have no fear of humans, which is a part of the reason settlers were able to hunt them so easily. Aldabra giant tortoises are recognized as the world's second largest species of land turtle. These animals vary between being solitary and roaming in herds. Most of their activity occurs in the morning. This is when they go browsing for food, aiming to avoid warm temperatures. Aldabra giant tortoises have good eyesight with all-around vision. They can see colors and their preferred color is yellow. They use smell to search out food, nesting areas and water. They can smell water from one kilometer away. Their flat nose enables them to drink water collected in shallow pools. Much of their day is spent sleeping. This may take up to 18 hours of their day. I would spend here not only the whole morning, but the whole day for sure, but they have to rest and we have to go back. 